Okay, I'm gonna take you out in the Cub today and show you how to do a simulated engine out uh, approach and landing procedure. All right, today we're gonna to show you the procedure for doing a simulated engine out or emergency uh, landing approach. Well, the foliage is out today. Very orange, kind of almost a little bit of brown, brownish orange. A beautiful day out, but a little hazy. Very light winds. All right, so I just fixed my camera a little bit here. What I'm going to go over today is doing a simulated engine out emergency approach to landing. I'm not going to land uh, here, but we're going to go through that process. Uh, I'm at currently at 3,000 feet. Field elevation around here is about 5, 600 feet. Uh, what I want to do is kind of go through the uh, five ABCDF uh, letters that I go through um, from memory, and then I pull up my checklist here to look at those emergency procedures to make sure I, I didn't miss anything. So first thing I want to do is think about airspeed. Get on best glide immediately. Next thing, best place to land. And get over in that direction. Don't just hesitate. Get over there. You can always approach over the uh, circle over the approach end. See, check everything. Mixture, fuel tank, carburetor heat, put it on. Electrical, make sure it keys on both. Then D is declare. Declare the emergency. You either do it on the CTAF frequency, Unicom frequency you're on currently, uh, giving your mayday, 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 how far you're away from that particular airport, what your issue is, and that you're going down, for example, in this case. Um, also, Squawk 7700 on your transponder. And last thing to do, um, not so much a big issue here, but you crack the door open so that you can uh, get out of the plane once you land. Uh, the last thing, the two things are E for electrical, shut your electrical off, and F, shut your fuel off. You don't want to shut really those electrical and fuel off until you're pretty much dedicated to making the, the committed landing, uh, particularly if you have a situation where you have electric flaps. In my case, I have manual, so it's not such a big deal. I'm going to kind of go through that process uh, right now. We're going to just come out here a little bit further, and then we will go through that procedure. Right here for dark so you always want to kind of keep an eye out for where you can have an emergency landing at all times so that if you need to, the one behind you might be the best place to go versus nothing in front of you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just bring my power to idle. Put my power lead on just for this procedure. Airspeed. Best place, best airspeed is 70. I'm going to trim for that in this aircraft. Best place to land. Best place to land is actually right behind me. And trying to keep basically the altitude as much as I can. All right, so airspeed's under control, about 70, best place to land. I've got a place to land. See, I'm checking everything. My mixture's in, my key's on both. My fuel selector is on the proper tank with fuel on it. Okay, otherwise I'd switch. Uh, so I've checked everything there. Uh, next thing to do is declare. Go ahead on the CTAP that I've got, say matey, matey, matey. Uh, a Super Cub 816 Whiskey Romeo is going down five miles northeast of Laconia Airport. And with an engine out. And then D, squawk 7700, and then crack the door open. So now I'm looking out here and I see my field that I want to land at here. Um, about 2,400 feet MSL. I know this field must be about 600 feet. So I'm over the approach end where I want. So I'm going to just kind of sit here and um, kind of just kind of spiral down a little bit about it. I'm going to occasionally just purge the engine just a little bit here just to make sure it comes up on me. All right. Well, I do have a pretty safe spot to land if I needed to here. And I'm just going to basically bleed off some altitude here. And I'm on the approach, and I know the wind's coming out of the west, so I'm going to land toward the west. So again, I'm keeping about 70. I'm on the approach and where I want to land. Um, I want to roll out approximately on this circling at about a downwind altitude of about a thousand feet above the ground. 
And as you can see off my left wing out here, I'm pretty much a, the equivalent of the numbers, if you will, and I'm maybe 200 feet. Above the, the runway, or where I want to land. So at this point, I'm just going to kind of extend it out here a little bit. I got lots of tools to get down, so I'm going to just come out here a little bit and keep it a little bit high. So there I am about pattern altitude. I'm going to put in first notch of flaps. I know I've got this. See, see, I'm still too high. I'll come out and do some S turns a little bit, just to bleed off a little bit more altitude. Carpet's on. Put my last notch of flaps in. And there's the field off the nose of my aircraft. And I'm about 600 feet above the ground. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and do a, do a go-around, pull power, pitch up, got that one notch of flaps, and climb on out. And that's how we do a simulated engine out procedure. Flaps all the way up. Forward again. Hopefully you found that video informative. If you did, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you get notified for my next video.